Big clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con, I pop pistols. Beaming my body. Alright, guys, we got the spoils for the upcoming episodes, and I'm telling you guys right now, the spoilers look absolutely amazing, just from my personal opinion but the first one that we're going to get into is going to be born to episode 244 by the way shout out to organic dinosaur for actually translating the spoilers the title is going to be rift now it's the actual paragraph it says while boards and his teammates were gradually making some progress towards preparing their battle strategy they realized that a portion of their enemy forces were a step ahead of them and had already been heading towards the village with their arrangements still incomplete the village would be put in a perilous position and so boards and his comrades are in a rush to evacuate everyone moreover katata Chicago is apprehensive about their own inadequate combat capabilities. If a situation should arise, the cursed seal that has been etched onto Bunten, Hibichigo, and Kyoho could be released. Since if the person who originally marked them dies, then the ones who are bound by the Jutsu will also lose their lives. Although it'll be for a temporary period of time, the three of them will be free from it. Despite losing their bearings at first, the three of them have finally agreed to cooperate in battle with Kagura, Boruto, and the others. Alright, so there has been a very, very big storyline over the course of this arc of the inmates essentially wanting to be free they originally joined this mission because they want their senses to be a little bit shortened and of course if you guys want to say no the curse seal is essentially what forces them to actually stay with Kagura. they can't actually escape if they have the curse mark but now the tension rises even more they're actually going to be able to escape at any given moment and as i said this just amplifies the tension in the actual episode also we have to talk about how boruto and his teammates aren't necessarily completely prepared mainly because the funato clan they might actually be beating them to the actual village this is crazy but the next episode is going to be bored to episode 245. The title is going to be Funamushi's Tenacity. In the actual paragraph, it says, As Funamushi's main forces, who has an allegiance to the Funato clan, approach the village, Boruto and the others attempt to ensnare their enemies by setting up traps. Each of them are standing by on high alert at their respective locations. Despite their preparations, somehow their enemy has seen through all their plans. Suddenly, they all get plunged into an all out battle. Even though Boruto and his comrades are flustered, they engage their enemies head on and cooperate with one another. They are outnumbered by their enemies, however, Funamushi is still burning up with revenge. Boruto and his teammates get driven into a corner when Funamushi unleashes a strong jutsu art. This episode right here is going to be absolutely amazing. It needs to be animated absolutely perfectly for it to actually reach the peak potential. Because here's the thing, Boruto is going to be in the battle, not only that, potentially Kawaki potentially sard a potentially a bunch of other characters that we all love to see in my personal opinion it would be an absolutely amazing scene to actually see boards on the rest of them fight against legitimate enemies that actually build up reputation as being extremely strong one of the things that we did find out here is that funamushi's main forces are also going to be joining the battle not necessarily the first time that we've seen them but also it's another time for them to actually make a very good impression if they are absolutely insane like absolutely destroys board so it'll be great for for their characters for example if you guys do recall when deep was first introduced into the series deep almost obliterated team seven right then and there and everybody respected his character from then on but hopefully it's a good fight obviously whenever boruto is going to be fighting we're going to be looking out for the karma seal potentially even the jogan in my personal opinion i don't necessarily think that boruto is actually going to use it but of course there's always that possibility if a big arc like this would definitely be fitting for the jogan to make an appearance hopefully it does but let's get into the next episode boruto episode 246 the title is going to be a grave injury now into the actual paragraph it says boruto and his comrades have managed to endure a difficult battle but at any rate they were successful in making funamushi's forces retreat however that came at a very steep cost meanwhile in the neighborhood of the seas of the water country the mizukage chojudo and his shinobi who have gathered from the hidden mist village are continuing to have a standoff with the pirates who have amassed there even though as part of their strategy tenma can't seem to hide his frustration at how slowly the battle has been progressing his brother-in-law isari says to be patient and try to wait for the opportune moment. Tenman wants to live up to Aromi's expectations, who is his father-in-law and the head of the Funato clan. He then starts to set some things in motion in order to advance the battle's progression in one fell swoop. Alright, so this right here is also going to be another action-packed episode one of the things that we didn't necessarily get to see in the last episode that i really really did want to see is more character from chojo chojo is a character that hasn't necessarily gotten a lot of shine in regards to good light quote unquote and i personally do believe this right here is a definitely a very good arc for the mizukage chojo to actually shine actually show how powerful he is you see boruto struggling against some characters you see kagura struggling against some characters we see confirmed kage level characters on the other side if chojo can actually impose his will be like the big dog of this arc 
it'd be absolutely amazing for his character and building a lot of respect because as of right now as i said not a lot of people actually do respect this character but not only that tenma is also back on his bs supposedly he wants to do something very big one of the things that we did see from tenma is that he has an extremely short temper not necessarily too much different from his actual family members but tenma was more significant it's like if you're in his team like you're probably going to end up dying so i think that tenma doing this is 100 in his character and hopefully tenma actually does make some significant moves and some significant motions in this particular episode but one of the biggest things that we did actually get to see from this actual paragraph is the fact that boruto supposedly quote unquote managed to endure that difficult battle but not only that supposedly that came at a very steep cost I personally do believe someone actually died in this episode and it's going to be absolutely amazing to actually see you know how serious are they going to take it is it going to be let's say a father person that was actually helping them did that person die or is it going to be as serious as like let's say a person like metal lee a main character Kaga. this right here is going to be something that we could actually look towards to actually see and i'm gonna lie it'd be an absolutely insane thing if a character like Sarada or Mitsuki would actually die in one of these anime only arcs that a lot of people consider as filler, but they are legitimately canon. And I always like to differentiate this. The main difference between filler, quote unquote, and actual anime canon is the fact that people can legitimately die in anime canon. But the next episode is going to be bored to episode 247. The title is going to be Four Kagata Sick. My goodness. <laughs> and here we go. All right. So Organic Dinosaur says, um, during the battle against Furumushi's forces, Boruto and his comrades have sustained some serious injuries. They decide to settle things once and for all against Funamushi the next time they engage in another fierce battle. After all, there are children in the village that they hope will be spared from harm during any future conflicts. Meanwhile, Ikada's older sister, Siren, has sustained a grave injury. Funamushi is boiling over with a desire for vengeance against Boruto and his teammates. In addition, Aromi is informed by Isari that Tenma has died in combat, with Siren on the edge of holy with siren on the edge between life and death due to her serious wounds from battle he explodes with rage at yet another tragedy aromi then declares from now on i'll be taking command over the battle myself all right this right here is definitely significant this right here is definitely significant now one of the leader's sons actually did die tenma which as i said a little bit earlier he had an established character in this arc so this right here is actually impeccable i really hope they do it correctly i'm pretty sure he's probably gonna die actually in a battle with board so i really really do hope that they actually handle this correctly but not only that the emotions as well this right here is actually what makes naruto great when funomushi is quote unquote boiling over with his desire for vengeance against boruto and his teammates we need to see that emotion we need to see that similar emotion that we did see from shikamaru when he's playing chess with his father we need to see that similar emotion when naruto is essentially seeing karuma die not necessarily the same thing but you guys get the point it's still going to be that same type of emotion for both funomushi and aromi essentially finding out that tenma his son actually actually died i really really do believe this episode right here may actually be one of the best episodes of the entire arc just because of that expression that the board to writers actually do get to portray but the next episode is going to be bored to episode 248 the title is going to be a battle to the death once again into the actual paragraph it says with their food supplies running out danki and iwabi who have been guarding the children from the village head out together on an excursion however they get captured by funamushi and his comrades having been caught by funamushi the safety of both of them and the children can't be guaranteed Guaranteed. Boruto and his teammates are still aiming to defeat Funamushi. Meanwhile, Funamushi's forces have appeared in order to attack the village again. Funamushi is heated up. He's driven to avenge Siren by striking down the by striking down the killer. Holy! Holy! Oh my good, Boruto packed up Siren! Oh my goodness, this arc is fire. And so Boruto and his teammates are once again plunged into a life or death battle my goodness ladies and gentlemen this race is actually good i'm i'm shocked all right so supposedly boruto fought siren a couple episodes ago siren was injured quote unquote critically injured we didn't necessarily know that she was actually gonna die i personally thought that she actually survive well because they're in the midst of the battle let's be honest they probably don't necessarily have the best medical ninjas out there siren actually died and boruto was quote unquote the killer and funamushi is coming to actually avenge oh, the biggest thing in my personal opinion is that aromi lost now two of his children ikata lost his sister boruto is going to be enemy number one a person who was just coming to transport some robots and some cyborgs to the hidden mist village to actually if i'm keep up the peace treaty between the hidden leaf village and the hidden and the hidden mist village he didn't even plan all this but let me know what you guys think about these episodes in the comment section down below. It's me, your boy, Barbie, and we out.
It's a knife. 